Our uh, final performer is a shy man and <laughs> has a very strong affinity for Jonathan Winters, whose work he continues in Jonathan's semi-retirement. <laughs> Robin Williams. Thank you. Thank you for what you've said. To have the courage to say that and wear those glasses. Thank you. Hola, es el aguango. Receiving the Less Dramatics Achievement Award this year, Martin Mull, for his work in achieving racial integrity. But first, a few words from Jimmy the Greek. You know, people look at Jimmy the Greek and say, my God, how can he say those damn things? You give Gandhi five cocktails, he'll come up with the same shit, okay? <laughs> Even Gandhi would be in a bar going, they're fast, what can I say? <laughs> God damn it, I fast and they're bigger than I am. I, if I could be Bubba, I would. <laughs> God damn it, I'll tell you. I love this. Thank you for wearing this Russian sailor hat. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this thing. It looks like, oh, hold on here. Takes it off, she's going, no. I just want to meet a woman for something special. <laughs> I bring fins. I am not afraid of sex. I thank you for wearing this. It's wonderful. Look at this sweater. Look at this. Obviously, someone took some masculine and said, I'll knit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Thank you for wearing this. Some man went blind saying, fuck it. Just get it out of the shop. This sweat, this sweat, this sweat. This take I'm, yes, I'm dyslexic. I'm not afraid to say it. I was a kid at Halloween going, hi, trick or trout. <laughs> oh, look around, people are getting afraid. They're going, oh man, man, he's coming towards my table. Oh, how you doing? My God, I didn't, I thought you were still in Congress. <laughs> my God. You have that look like you're gonna go, at any time, Mr. North, did you realize we had, did you realize we had your balls in a sling? <laughs> at any time, Mr. North, and there was old Ali, Ali up there looking kind of like, you know, he's looking right at him. They go, uh, pardon me, Senator, may I have a moment before I respond to the question? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. McFarland, would you like to answer the question? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. <laughs> well, that Reagan, I tell you, that Reagan. <laughs> Why didn't they ask Oliver North? He's up on the stand. All he had to ask him was, where are the strawberries? The strawberries. I never know about their strawberries. <laughs> uh, the men didn't like me. I didn't like the men. I want more height from you. It's past the holidays. More height. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Yes. Yes. Somewhere there's an animal going, fuck it, take it, go. <laughs> no, I told, I told you that I found these things on the freeway. I sold them together. <laughs> you know, there are those little possums out there running around. <laughs> Pepperidge Farms putting them in a doughy crust. <laughs> Look around. How are you doing there? Look at you in a tuxedo and a cowboy. You just must have a big old thing. You have a big truck outside that says, I break for insight. Look, you're the type of man who could step in his own shit and go, it's mine. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Lord have mercy. There's love here in Hollywood tonight. That's why I come here to the improv, because I don't have an act. <laughs> to me, that means something. Improv, that means jerk off a lot of people at once. <laughs> Why? Because I'm sorry I don't have an act. I could. I, I did at one time, and, but now, no. I, Why do you look at me like we did something? <laughs> you look at me like, I'm sorry, I didn't know anything. <laughs> but keep wearing this. It looks like graph paper. <laughs> I don't know. I, this is nice on a night when they keep you all fully lit and you all have this look like, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to talk to me. <laughs> I don't know. I like coming here because for me it's fabulous, you know. Tomorrow is the Super Bowl. I want to see large men hurting each other. Yes. <laughs> I want to see. Maybe they should have some fashion consultant before the Super Bowl going. This time, when they go into the bowl, I want every time someone is tackled, some clothing comes off. <laughs> so by the end, everyone's in a huddle going, check it out. <laughs> then all of a sudden, the huddle's like a lazy Susan. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I offended you. Obviously, a football fan going, don't ever do that again. <laughs> 
Don't make fun of large men. I'm sorry. Now the gospel according to Bubba. Yea, though they do have big thighs, they shall run. And others shall block, for they have no necks. And God did look down and he said, who shall own the team? And he said, let there be whites. For thine is the end zone and the dance for no reason. Thank you. What are you drinking here, son? What did you buy the little woman tonight? Oops, sorry, I pissed all over you. Feels like a bad resident. Hello, I'm your waiter, Andre. That's all the waiters in Hollywood are going, listen, I'm an actor. Fuck it, I don't know why I'm serving you chicken. <laughs> Champagne, mouille, chandon. God, I remember this. Drink a few bottles of this, wake up nude in the hood of my car. <laughs> that was fun. Those were the old days, remember, bud? When there'd be 15 guys in the men's room in that one stall going, how you doing, like to go? <laughs> Yes. It was like Barman Bailey Circus in Columbia. Hey, nice show, nice show, nice show. <laughs> and that cocaine was so good, too. <laughs> you think this was caught with anything? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Memories. <laughs> yes, but those are past us now. I remember when I came here. I feel like we should be reminiscing. I remember there was Bud Friedman. <laughs> Sitting by the door before this used to be a leather bar. I came down here from San Francisco. I remember I walked in. I, I used to play in clubs in San Francisco, like in Berkeley, where most of the people were in wheelchairs, they couldn't laugh. You just heard. Ee. Ee. If they really liked you, they'd pop a wheelie like. Ee. I enjoyed your comedy. But sometimes I'd, well, I'd work at a place. There's another place in San Francisco called the Intersection Coffee House where they'd have comedy after lesbian poetry. I know, you shouldn't say lesbian. I'm sorry, I won't say lesbian. Women in comfortable shoes. Okay. Sorry. A large woman named Betty's going, I'd like to talk to you now. But I said I came down here because I thought, Samuels and Cohen, they're going to L.A. Yes. I feel like that. Let's go to L.A. That's where it is. And I land on Hollywood Boulevard and it's oh, junkies and pimps and whores. Oh, my. Yes! It's like Dorothy on acid. This is what it's about. And there's Bud, like the Wizard of Oz, going, Don't look behind that curtain. Don't come into this club now. Ah. And for a brief moment, can I use the word Mitzi? Is that okay? We have to use it. She's up there, man. She's up there, man. There's like an unspoken thing. Explain it. I'll explain it, brother. I'll tell him. It's like up there on Sunset Boulevard. There's another place. A different place, far away from here. It's another place. I'll say the word, it's okay, bud. You made a lot tonight, it's okay. <laughs> Call the comedy store, and sometimes people cross over, and then they can never go back. <laughs> I just want to say, maybe one day you and Mitzi will sit down in a room like Reagan and Gorbachev, but without the funny stuff on the head. And there'll be peace, and one day there'll be just one club called the Comovation. That'll be it. <laughs> where everyone will gather down and will eat locks for no reason. And you'll have her hair and she'll have your hair. That'll be it. Don't you I see? you too far. You've gone too far, Robin. Yes, bud! It can happen in our lifetime! No. Why do you have to open up every place she is? She's scared. Oh, there's money for everybody, can't you see? But no, I feel like Gandhi and a delicatessen going, who had the fish? <laughs> but that's my dream. Call me fucking crazy. <laughs> Call me fucking wild. Look at these people up here. All of us working. Look at this man in a bow tie. That's a bowl of tie, isn't it? That's for people who are actually brain dead to go. That's just all. Just put it on like that. <laughs> That's where it is. But I gotta go. I gotta go back up to San Francisco. There it is. It's amazing up there. You see people dressed like a cowboy and you're going, no. <laughs> And I know Paul talked about it. Paul's over here. Robert's here. Paul talked briefly about that. But hey, sex is a little scary unless you're going to live like with... Maybe if you're really afraid, you're going to have to buy one of those rubber dolls and go, Hi, Mom, this is Michelin. <laughs> but about I love you. I got to... They're, they're pulling me off, bud. It's the end of my time. We're live. Robin Williams. Good night! 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 Good night!